This is Trey at John Sporting Goods, and I'm going to show you how to line a Scotty Downrigger with Cortland Spectra. <clears throat> what you're going to need some masking tape, a threader, a screwdriver to put through the hole of the spool, a pair of dikes, a crimping tool, preferably a heavy duty, and a Scotty 1153 terminal kit and a pair of leather gloves. <clears throat> also, you're going to need super glue. The first thing you want to do is take your masking tape and wrap all the way around the spool. Then you're going to take your threader and insert it through the hole at the top of the downrigger. Add your line. Now in order to get it through the crimping sleeve, you should cut this at a slight angle or just use your threader again. Insert it into the sleeve, tie a knot at the end, and then crimp the sleeve down. That stops it from coming back out. Pull the line tight. Insert the screwdriver into the spool of the downrigger. Now when putting on Spectre you have to have it very tight. So put on your gloves. And then turn it on full auto. Make sure to line it evenly. Once all the line is on the downrigger, you're going to need to line it through. Pull your brake handle back. Start by going through the switch. through your line guide, and then through the pulley. The knot I'm going to use is a knot you can find on johnsportinggoods.com. It's called John Spectre Knot. Insert through your soft stop that comes standard with all 1153s. Once again, cutting at an angle to get it through. Add your swivel, wrapping twice around the eye. Wrap three times around your finger. Pull it back through the end. Cinch the knot tight. Bring it down to the end, tighten up your tag, clip some of the extra off, and super glue the knot. That will make the knot stronger than the line. Now you only need to let this dry for about 30 seconds. <clears throat> One thing you're going to need to do is add auto stops, part number 2008. Extend the boom out to the very end if you have a, a telescoping boom. Adjust the distance of the line accordingly. We set it about three feet and then add your two auto stops. 
Now I'm going to show you how to add auto stops and finish up to go fishing. <clears throat> you're going to need your 2008 auto stops. You're going to have you're going to use two of them in case one comes off. You're going to set them about right at water's depth. And then another little trick with these auto stops. You can add two of them about six inches from your swivel. <clears throat> to attach your release clip. And then it won't move anywhere. And then you're ready to go fishing.